when people say that you, they think that you're Chantel Robinson, you're I not, no right? That. I mean, that, that's just a ploy of like freaking. That's just freaking Congasm's fucking stupid idea. You know, it's either Congasm or, or, or um, that that new person who's just finally come out and being a person. You know, like people are trying to avoid and step away from that. You know, people are purposely making things to distance themselves from that. It's either those two or Jeff Nelson, right? Because Jeff Nelson, who's got more interest in the situation than the people who are calling themselves bullshit, you know? It's like a way to get attention and shit, you know, play the victim. I think that's what's happening. Jeff Nelson's the ultimate troll. He admitted to trolling before and messing with <laughs> vegans and pretending to be a meat eater and shit. Who, what stops him from making a fucking stupid fake account to be like making talking shit about himself? And like, and the, the vegan cheetah thing has fizzled out. If you look at vegan cheetah's channel, he's dropping each day like freaking 300 viewers a day nearly, you know? He's losing 300 subscribers a day. People are just ev evacuating that, like, whoa. They kind of understood what it was and what that was, and like, well, that was funny for a minute, but I can't hang on to that anymore. Now that it should be like a, a channel where it looks like this guy's relapsed onto drugs and hiding it with his- Whoa, whoa, drugs. whoa, wait, hold on a second. I haven't been watching Cheetah's stuff re recently since he moved. They're saying he's got tracks, he's got these bruise marks, and then he's got a totally new look, and he's like, you know, what he's done? He's toned everything down, he's not being a, a drama channel anymore. He's just being like Alina. He renamed the channel, I guess, Alina and whatever. You know, that's what that's what. Alina saying. and Charles, I guess. I ha I don't know. I haven't been watching it. And it's like you know, it's all a whole thing. Anyway, once he started talking about umbrella and saying, you know, the vegan umbrella doesn't come from Blue Ren and Vegan Cheetah. It comes from Tanny Raw. Tanny Raw made the vegan umbrella, and it means nothing to do with eating meat sometimes. And so it's got a prior origin that they can't hijack. You know, because Tanny Raw is the real deal. She's hardcore raw, like over 15 years. Oh, Tenny really? Raw's a, Tenny Raw's no joke. And Tenny Raw made the vegan umbrella. So, you know what I mean? It's all about re taking back that power. Like, even Chantel Robbins made some weird, I don't understand you comment to me today on YouTube about how, like, they're confused by me because they don't want to understand. There's a lack of understanding. I even told the Charles Marlowe, I said, understand nutrition. Understand, get the freaking chronometer app, put it on your phone or put it on a computer. Understand what has what in it and how, what it takes to meet the macronutrient requirements from the whoever and whenever there's three different ways to think about it you know there's many different ways just add up what you're eating and you'll realize what you're getting and be like wow i'm actually getting a lot more sodium than i need maybe i should find a way to get less or something you know even if you're going to eat cooked and be healthy there's healthier ways to do things i mean that's what i've always done my whole life it's always about finding a more healthy way when i find something that works better well i'm going to go with that of course because i don't i want the benefits okay but like, you know, Guys. I told them that these people, they have an option to keep learning. Like even Harley and Dury Rider, he stopped learning. I've seen him hold the Shelton book. He has all the information in his hands, but instead he decided to talk negatively on that stuff. I think Jeff Nelson paid him to do that because that's what happened back in the day. As, um, wait, wait, wait. Dur you think Je Jeff Nelson paid who? Harley Johnstone to um, troll on Doug Graham on his forum. See, Doug Graham, see, Jeff Nelson has brought a lot of things together, like a lot of these vegan doctors and Doug Graham and a lot of stuff under his VegSource website that he's had running for quite a while. VegSource website's one of the older websites, you know? So there's a lot of debate that goes on on the forum there because it's a super old forum. And what happens is Doug Graham was like, had a suction on there for raw food, just raw food help. He's like, questions and answers. And people were coming there and asking questions. So Doug Graham, in his own free time, you know, he's using his own time and energy to talk to people there. And he was, that, was yeah. the, that, was the, that was the place you went if you wanted to talk to Doug Graham. You went to Jeff Nelson's website. And Jeff Nelson got Harley to troll on Doug so hard in that forum that Doug deleted comments from some people of against doctors eating that cook. He was eating this at Whole Foods in a video. And I was like, hey, that's not a genetic way to eat. And then this and that about this, because I was learning a lot at that time. And I was just explaining it in the comments on YouTube, and I think he flipped out, like, because Jeff Nelson sued me for pet, didn't sue me, he, he issued the new YouTube guideline strikes against my account, just like Olga and Vegan Traveler did. Okay, okay. And, but he, the guideline strike that he issued against me was for pedophilia, because I captured, I captured a nip slip of Nina and Randa when I was watching their YouTube, you now broadcast live, one of the dogs knocked over the shirt and her nipple came out, and I was yeah. like, Capt and I captured it right away, I put a moment and I captured it. And then I made a video of it right away. I downloaded it. I censored it out. Put a big Jonas, why would you do it. that? Because it's going to it's gonna be it's a popular thing to happen. Nina and Randa, you know, they're nip slip. Nip slip's a big top. Nip slip's it's not a cool, Jonas. Videos. 
No, nip slips are important. Like it's that they're part of free the nipple. So if you look at Nina and Randa's video about it, they say, oh, it's cool, whatever. It's just some old guy, weird old guy. That's what they say, creepy weird old guy or something like that. They said. <laughs> And they were like, well, we're at least thankful that he did this and this and that. But then it's like, but our dad, they ratted on their dad in that video. And they said their dad reported it as child pornography. And they said, we're not even 19. We're, we're like 23 years old. You know what I mean? So how can he report that? He falsely reported my video of them as child pornography and pedophilia and to get it taken down and give me a strike. And I countered it, but it didn't win. The counterclaim didn't go through. I was like, what? That sucks. Because obviously that Nina sounds... and Miranda, and I re-uploaded I even uploaded Nina and I Miranda's remember video. that I drama when it happened. It. But in their own version. So I have their version, of, but edited in my way. You know, I edit all these videos. When you edit videos, you make them fair use. It's derivative work, or they call it transformative. It's like once you've modified one second for every 30 seconds, it's not the same thing anymore. That's like, that's the law. <laughs> the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. It's like you gotta work a lot that's of so... stuff. You've seen that. I go outside of my house and everything. I like, I, in that video that they took of me, like, yeah. the umbrella has on their channel that I'm outside working on my, I'm trying to get people. Okay, so Jonas, what are your own personal thoughts on the vegan umbrella? Oh man, my battery's gonna die. My, the vegan umbrella? Yeah, just, to, oh, okay, since your battery's gonna die, just uh, sum it up in one paragraph, what you think of it. It doesn't make sense, just like I don't agree with Raw Till 4, I, cause like, it's pH balance mix max, mix ma mismatch, I mean, I feel like, that's important. Like they say, 67% of America is sometimes eating vegan meals now to help their health. People understand that it's healthy. People are making. There's a whole movement. It's huge. It's blowing up. It's viral, right? As a topic. That's why people latch onto the term vegan because it's a bigger deal. But like they think that they're gonna bring people into that with that. But that's already happening. That doesn't need a term for that. That doesn't. That's already happening. You know. So it's it's already something going on. But like the real idea, the vegan umbrella is from Tanny Raw. And if you want to watch her video, I mean, I have it. On, I put the I put the screen capture to show that Tanny Raw did September 2015. She was made a video talking about vegan umbrella and what it means for her. But she means for her, it means like she wants to be a raw food person who accepts people who are vegan because that matters that they're taking a step at least. It's the same thing as people who are eating partially thing. Like the people are making changes. People are making shifts. And those shifts are going to continue to happen. And then it happens, it just happens. Like, I mean, people say, oh, it's a big mess, but at the same time, what kind of mess, what do they mean by that? It's just a judgment, you know? It's like, they can be, they can, act, they can speak more specifically and say, well, there's people seem like they're fighting and there's a dis, you know, it's more, and then it comes down to, it's about you. It's not about other people. Just like Joe Rive said, well, don't talk about other people on my channel. I just want to, if they're here, talk with them about it. But like, you know, otherwise it doesn't, I don't want it in my channel, you know? So right. it's like, it matters more that people have direct connection, have making direct communication making requests that are specific and they're doable like doable things right. like we focus on what's doable like that matters a lot that's part of making connecting requests and that's the end goal of communication not like communication is coming up with connecting requests and be like oh i feel tired because i need sleep you know would you be willing to like leave me alone for like eight hours while i sleep you know it's like, no, it's like it's like making connecting requests where you're talking about your needs and your feelings in it okay so what are your concluding thoughts about i don't know just that, about the umbrella uh, or anything we talked about in general. I just come back on in five minutes when I get home. But um, I can sit in my car, actually. I have a thing there if it doesn't disconnect me. What are you talking about? I have a, I have a biodiesel car. A biodiesel? What's that? Yeah, it means that diesel, any diesel car below, like, 2005 or 2000, I don't know, whatever year, it, e. it, um, it, it runs on vegetable oil. Like the original motor was invented to run on vegetable oil. His name is Rudolf von Diesel, the inventor of the motor. And it wasn't made. It wasn't made for cars. It was made for. It was made for cruise ships and st and steamboats and like uh, replacing the steam engine, and replacing, you know, on a, trains and you know the locomotive. And what happened was that he went to the Paris World Fair, and Chevy and Standard Oil, Standard Oil, and uh, who's like you know Texaco now. They pushed him off a cruise ship and killed him. What the hell? Yeah, they killed okay. Rudolf von Diesel in order to stop his idea, which is the motor. He would have taken the world by storm. It wouldn't. We wouldn't have. And they made a weaker oh. combustion motor, so it breaks down more. It's more weak, and it's not. It breaks down diesel motors. That's why diesels in semi trucks, you know, because it's powerful and it's really efficient. But if it was like people were, I mean, like things have moved along. Volkswagen and Mercedes have made diesel cars like. People have, you know, Do you think it was industry. the Illuminati or? No, it's people with interest. It's just special interest. It's just like McDougal working against natural hygiene and saying that people eating raw vegan are get raped and murdered. People say extraneous things or kill people or, or do things in order to take advantage. It's just like 
people saying we're order 66 I'm, I'm gonna mess with all these vegan guys and then i'm gonna get steal a vegan girl and that louisa gets marissa you know what i mean but at the same time it's still compassion like there's still people who want connection marissa's you know desperate to find a replacement for for um we don't remember his name anymore now mcgee mcgee yeah um so your car runs a vegetable oil that's what you're telling me yeah it's a there's a vegetable oil station on, but you can put any if you clean it. My friend cleans it with a filter. I used to have a filter, but I don't have that now anymore. I want I bought tanks and all this stuff, but there's like so you go to the like grocery beef. store and you just put it that in your gas tank. I could. That's not cheap though. Like it's free to go just behind the freaking trash cans from the restaurants. There's a blue can and you can suck it out. But I'd rather do it vegan stuff. You know stuff that wasn't fried with meat in it. You know so I. My preference is to go to the green new American vegetarian place that fries a lot of. Yeah, but food. it's not wasting it. The, the animal's already dead, so I mean, might as well recycle what's already there, right? Yeah, sure, but I don't. I don't want it to stink. Like I have to smell that. You know, that's it's about me. <laughs> well, you save but money you when you do that. If it's, if it's just vegan, if it's vegan fried oil, you, you mean like if it's just not animal stuff, you can smell what's fried in the oil, a little bit. No, yeah, no whatever. Fried. Cars have, I don't know, is there such a thing as a vegan tire? Because each tire, like, I just, you know, whatever. I can't say oil's not, like, non-vegan. I mean, it's dinosaur blood. It's not killing animals to make freaking oil, right? But... <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, like. No, this is no leather seats in an old Volkswagen, man. These are, these are like that weird fuzzy texture. I've never had a, a car. I've never had leather, <laughs> except for a wallet when I was, like, 13 that got stolen out of my car. So, 